Let's simplify the expression 2x to the negative 1 power squared times 4x to the third power to the negative second power. The first thing I'll do is apply the exponents to each factor. Both the first factor is squared and the second factor is raised to the power of negative 2. When squaring the first factor, I have 2x to the negative 1 being raised to the second power, so the 2 will be squared and the x to the negative 1 is also squared. In this situation, I have x to the negative 1 squared. It's a power to a power, so the exponents will be multiplied. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. In the second factor, 4x to the third raised to the negative 2, the 4 will be raised to the negative second power, and the x to the third will be raised to the negative second power. Power to a power means the exponents are multiplied, so x cubed to the negative second power is x to the power of 3 times negative 2, or negative 6. The next thing that I'm going to do is rewrite this without any negative exponents. When there are negative exponents and there's not a fraction bar in the original problem, the factors that have a negative exponent will be moved to the bottom of a fraction. And at this point, I have four factors. 2 squared is the first, x to the negative 2 is the second, 4 to the negative 2 is the third, and x to the negative 6 is the fourth factor. All of the factors that have a negative exponent will move to the denominator. The 2 squared stays in the numerator. The x to the negative 2, since it had a negative exponent, will move to the denominator, where the exponent becomes positive. The 4 to the negative 2 also moves to the denominator where the power of negative 2 becomes positive 2, and the x to the negative 6th moves to the denominator as well, where it becomes x to the positive 6th. 2 to the second power in the numerator is 4. In the denominator, 4 squared <coughs> is 16, and I'll write that first. And then x to the second times x to the sixth, when you multiply the same base, you add the exponents, that becomes x to the eighth power. My final step will be to put this fraction in lowest terms. 4 over 16 in lowest terms is 1 over 4. So the simplified version of the original expression is 1 over 4x to the eighth power.